Shalom and blessings. It is wonderful to have you come again with us. Thank you for the opportunity to share God's word with you. We have been looking at the last few days of faith journeys of different men and women through Hebrews 11. Today our focus will be on Isaac and Jacob who showed an act of faith. We see in their account in Genesis that both Isaac and Jacob, when they come to the end of their lives, they declare blessings to their children in faith. Let's read their account in Hebrews 11, verse 20 and 21. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of the sons of Joseph and worshipped, leaning on the top of his staff. So the Eastern culture showed of how fathers bless their children before they died. And we see the story um, of blessing in both Isaac as well as Jacob. The Hebrew author sees this as an example of faith, especially the one where we're looking at Isaac blessing his children. We may think it probably doesn't have an evidence of faith, but we see how Isaac blessed Jacob and Isaac blessed Esau. Isaac acted by faith when he declared a blessing to both his children. So Esau comes back to him and asks him for the blessing. But Isaac insisted and knew that what he spoke were the words of God. It was what the Holy Spirit wanted to, to declare to either of the children. So he, was, he continued to speak God's blessing and wanted it the way that he had spoken of it. So even though Esau urged him, urged Isaac to bless him, Isaac insisted that his words were that were really for Jacob and that that came from God. So by the power of God's Spirit was what Isaac released to his children. We see the same account even in Jacob, where Jacob acted in faith when he blessed his children. He blesses Joseph's children. He places his right hand on the younger, younger son of Joseph and his left on the older son of Joseph. And Joseph goes and tries to change it, but he insists and declares that what he has blessed is what God has given him in faith. Jacob insisted of not making that mistake because by faith he trusted God. We see that um, through this we learn that faith always bows down to God's will and uh, we act in accordance to God's will. So, so even as we journey in things that we do, let us remember that faith moves us and pushes us according to what God wills for each one of us. Let's pray together. Thank you, Father, for what we saw today, that, uh, that Isaac and Jacob acted in faith, even as they blessed their children. Teach us at times when we, we have the unknown before us, that we will act in faith and know that it is your power that works ahead of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.